Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Mass Make March here on Studio Lou and we are here with day number 19 and we are making floating pockets. Also, I totally keep forgetting at the end of the videos to show you on camera and write down what we made. So I totally forgot for the last two days. So Rolodex cards, 26 envelopes, nine. I am doing it at the end. I just sometimes do it right as soon as I've turned off the camera. <laughs> so anyways, floating pockets. Okay, so this is a pocket that has, you know, sort of two nice looking sides that can be taken in and out of the journal and is also a container to hold on to something. So I'm thinking I wanted to try to use up some stickers today. I got this book a while back and I have not even used it yet. I haven't even really looked through it, but it's like a vintagey kind of sticker themed book. So I grabbed a bunch of things. So first, um, from some recent thrifting that I did, I got a bunch of scrapbook paper pads, um, but there's a lot of, like these are all the off cuts that were in the book. So I figured we would use those up today too, making these. Um, or at least make an attempt because there's a lot here. And then I grabbed some random things from just my bin. This is one of my digitals that I printed extra of. Um, jelly prints, um, some, these are some seed packet, um, like vintage seed packet covers, digitals, and this is a botanical book. Yeah, so all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so I think what I wanna do is I'll just start here and now with this. This is this adorable book page from this book um, about this little chipmunk and it's so cute. And I was thinking because, you know, it's so highly colored on both sides that we could reinforce the top here like this and then just simply fold it over and oh, hold on. I got to go a little, a little bit further, I think. Yeah, I want to go to the end of his face because I want his face on one side. There we go. And then I need my bone folder. There we go. And let me move the other paper out of the way because it's probably hard to see what I'm doing with it there. Okay. So um, let's just get a nice straight fold on that again. Here we go. So then I can probably just tear the excess away. Um, other option is I could wrap it around, but I take off the reinforced bit. Let me see. Hmm. I kind of think I want to do that because I like the book page number is down there. So let's go ahead and do that. Where's my ruler? Hmm. There it is. I put all my stuff away last night and that's why I can't find anything. <laughs> Organization in chaos. There we go. Okay, and I'll just nip this little top bit off here. And I need art glitter glue. I should probably have filled up this bottle, but I didn't. Fold this, and then I want to tear the bottom here. So I'm just going to go um, under where I reinforced and go across there and glue that down. And we'll come over here and we'll glue this side down. And I'll just take my glue stick and I'm going to use this bit here to just um, be like a neat, nice flap on the back. And then, put a little more glue down here. Perfect. And then I will just notch the front of the pocket. It just makes it easier when you have a thumb hole to kind of put things in and out. So there we go. I have this little floating pocket now. Um, now we'll do this one. I'll do it much the same way actually. So let's get rid of that text there. 
And what I want to do. What do I want to do? Okay. Here. Oh, no. Hold on. There we go. Then we can come around. Yeah. Now I don't need all this um, extra. Just take a little off. And then I will also take the bulk from the top here because we don't need this bit. I'm getting my video done very early this morning because my daughter has a swim class today and it's going to be a busy kind of day. We have a bunch of things to kind of do. Okay, let's get rid of this excess off the bottom. Notch punch. And there we go. Now we have two cute chipmunk floating pockets. Now this one is from my digital. Um, and the way that I made these is like I have something on either side. So they're actually, they lend themselves quite well Oops. to this. Put my scissors up here. Let's just get reorganized there. So I'll just tear off the edges here. I'm just going to fold this in half because these pages are sort of like designed to be almost like, um, you know, well, a signature, not almost, but definitely a signature. So then <clears throat> what I'll do is I'm just going to fold in a little flap on each side here. And we can bring bring those together maybe or actually maybe put this one in here and then we'll bring that one down as like a nice little seam that could be cute or this one could be the seam Let's see. Let's pull this in a little further there we go Let's push this over here yeah let's make this one the seam All right, so then I'm um, just going to glue stick this. And then we can decide what we want the dimensions to be on this. I'm actually happy to have it like as a tall pocket. I think that would be cute. Um, but I'm going to, before I glue it, I'm going to round the bottom corners. Do I want to round the top corners? Yeah, let's do it. OK. 
Okay. So we just need a little glue on the bottom flap here, the bottom to close it up. And we will notch it as well. Sorry if you hear calamity upstairs with my kids. They're playing with the dog. It's like <clears throat> early morning, you know, out of bed silly heads. And, um, yep. <laughs> Having a super excited dog just kind of adds to the calamity in my household right now. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, if you've been hanging around <laughs> for a while, you know that my videos are certainly peppered with lots going on above me. <laughs> okay. That one. Then let's go to a piece of maybe scrapbook paper. Let's use this one. So, let's see. Yeah. So scrapbook paper is great, especially the double-sided scrap of paper for making these kind of pockets because they're really like um you know they're like very colorful <clears throat> and when they're double-sided like you don't even have to worry too much about like what's on that back side you don't have to do a lot of embellishing i'm gonna go down to four inches just cut that excess off. Put this over here because I think I'm going to use it again. There we go. And then I'm going to just round the corners on the top sides and on the bottom ones. And then I'll put a notch in the front here. Okay. And then instead of um, gluing this, I'm actually going to just stitch it maybe. Stitch around the whole thing. So I'll set that aside. <clears throat> and I'm going to whip through and make a bunch of this particular style, I think, because they're just um, really great and easy. And I want to use up the scrapbook paper. So I'm going to bone folder out of the way here go to the last straight line I have on this page which is right here then can we get her on here I think so yeah and I can just go a little shorter maybe on one side it's hard to tell if this is gonna work we'll see because she's at the bottom right Okay, so now we're left with this. I'll keep that. Get rid of these bits. What kind of a floating pocket can I do with this? Let me think. Because she's at the bottom. I can't really do my my flip this way because then she'd be upside down. However, <coughs> Pull is not lost. So we'll use this bit of scrap to cover that white space. Okay. tear her out and she'll become our embellishment on the front here on this side Okay. 
going to print a little here where we've got that paper core. Perfect. Okay, and that one will get stitched as well. <clears throat> now this, um, I don't actually think I want to use these like little tiny ladies over here. They're not really my style. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't want them. Okay, then <clears throat> we have this. So I think what I'll do actually, I'm going to just take a little more off the side here. Um, so I'm going to fold this down so I can get a bit of a nice backing on this. And this is going to get stitched so I'm just going to use this glue, glue stick. And then we bring the front up so that it meets this join here. And we'll get it the little guillotine again here so I can trim these sides up neatly. again. I just like how these um, look with rounded edges. I think that they have more of a nice pocket <clears throat> look to them. Did I leave myself enough space? Yeah, I can do a little notch. We'll do a little notch on this one. There we go. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. This will need some some definite embellishment to become nice. Let's just make all of this into these pockets, I think. Okay. It is double-sided, but I don't think <clears throat> that this side will really work with this. Well maybe. Let's let's give it a try. Let's just give it a chance, right? I think I need to trim too because it's a little that was like a weird edge yeah that's better out of the way. <clears throat> and I think we're going to need to embellish these a lot more. Okay. 
Okay, so they are now nipped. Um, first thing I want to do is on the back, I'm going to create some writing space that will also just cover a significant amount of this up. Here to This is more like a more childlike paper that isn't really my style. Got to make it look a lot different here. Centered. getting very grungy. Then, <clears throat> I think I might put some of this on there. Pretty book spine. I need to clean this glue bottle. Gonna look for something in here that I might look on there. I like that little fan. Mm. Let's try that. Yeah, okay. I'm good with that now. I think that's cool. All right, so one down. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's do the same kind of thing with these two. It's nice to create journal space on the back of these pockets because they are floating. Um, it's one option if the back side of whatever you're using, like it isn't that interesting to look at.
And then the front, I need to... So using up the undesirable stuff like this definitely slows down your mask make. Because <laughs> <clears throat> I was on a roll with that scrapbook paper, but yeah. You know what, this is just as important though, like use this stuff up because like, yeah, it's important to not waste it. I'm just gonna give this a little clean. Sorry, this little glue blob is blocking my bottle here. It's the ongoing glue bottle challenges. <laughs> okay. There we go. Then we need something. Maybe this, this little, this cute little finch. Yeah, that's sweet. And then maybe, because there's a bit of blue in this, we'll put the egg up here too. Yeah, that's cute. All right, so that will go to be stitched. Now the little one. Um, I'm not going to back the little one. We don't need to. We'll just scrunch it up. Oh, and I forgot to clip those corners again. back to the grungy book spine because I think it just works really well on this project. I think it goes with this paper very nicely too. So, Oops, there we go. Okay, so those are done. I've got about 15 minutes of make time, um, I think, which includes stitching. So maybe we'll make that 10 minutes. <clears throat> okay. What do we have? We have this paper. Get rid of the torn. Now I'm just gonna fold it first and then um, to where we would want it, which would be here, because I need to fold it down as well. I think that'll make it easier to tear. And this is a thinner paper, um, so I'm going to actually fold the front down too to just give it a little more strength reinforce those edges where things kind of come in and go out of. But it's also nice to use like a thinner paper for this because <clears throat> like a floating pocket in itself is a bulkier thing. So you can um, 
going to thin it down a bit and not get such a fat journal by using a bit of a thinner paper. Okay. This one, um, let me think. I'm not going to do the corners on. I'm just going to leave this one as a square. <clears throat> And I actually don't even feel the need to like super embellish this or anything. I want it to be like kind of neutral as is. Yeah. Okay, now we have this, which I think I can use some, but not all of. So first I'll fold this here. to anyways sorry that glitter makes it a little harder to fold <clears throat> probably want about we'll go four and a half inches get rid of that okay so the back side of this is not colored so we're gonna come down um, a bit on the, the height of this so we'll fold this down again on the back to cover then we need to cut a bit of this away. Let me just double check um, how much I want to go on. Up there. Okay. Okay. Good. I will just glue this a little. And then do I want a little more of that off or no? Actually no, it's good. I'm going to just do the notch. And I'm going to round the front corners here. Yeah, that's good. I'll just trim a little off the side because I can tell it's like a little tiny bit off. Okay. Okay. Cute. Right. Even up this side as well, just to match what we trimmed. <laughs> coffee doing a little unintended coffee dyeing here. Let me do the scissors here. I'm always trying to like keep all of the tools that cling together separate. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so I like that as is. We need something on the front maybe. Got this cool. Show you in one second. I'm gonna cut this. I've got this paper that I think that I could make a nice like embellishment.
the art glitter glue onto this. Yeah, that's so cute. Um, something floral would be nice on there, I think. Just looking in this book to see if I see anything. Oh, here we go. Yes, this. Right there. check the time yeah okay so I have like one minute of making time left so that means that we should probably just get to stitching I did not get as many done as I'd hoped today but you know it's because we're making finished finished things we're, we're trying to actually get them done right <clears throat> I was thinking of another kind of cool floating pocket as I'm just sitting here looking at these big cards you know like the back of this is really ugly but what you could do is just kind of cover the top with coffee dyed paper you could put two of these together, trim off that end, and you'd have a fun little floating card there. Why don't we do that? Why don't we just make this one? I think it's a quickie project, right? We can do it real fast because we've got like one minute. All right, so we need glue. that down. Okay, and we're going to take this one. We're going to stitch around this too when we do the stitching. So I'm not stressed about that. Right there. Perfect. Now I'm going to ink. And then you could decide if you wanted to put writing space on the back. I'm actually not going to because I think it's pretty fun as a pocket, like just to float around and have something you can write in on it, you know, on the inside. Yeah, so not everything has to have journal space. Okay, let's go do some stitching now. I'll come back and we will have all of these floating pockets to take a final look at. All right, all the stitching is done and actually we made 12, which is more than I thought at first. So I'm pretty happy with this as a mass make session. Um, so number one, all stitched around and our little lady there. The ones with the writing space on back. And I think we really did a good job of like changing up the overall look of that paper to make it nicer more interesting. There's our card. And then the chipmunks. And the one that's made from my digital. So that is the end of today. But I will see you tomorrow for more Mass Make March. And I hope you're having as much fun as me. I'm really loving getting all this ephemera done. It's a lot of fun. So we'll talk soon. Bye for now. <laughs>